All right, we're here with Kim, and she's a bikini competitor, and you have a show how soon? In three weeks, May In three 20th. weeks, and which show are you doing? The Optimum Classic in Shreveport, Louisiana. Wow, Shreveport, Louisiana. That's a serious traveling, and you live here? I do live here, but I'm originally from Texas, so I'm gonna fly home and drive to Shreveport with my mom. She's gonna be there to support me. Cool, well, good luck. Thank um, you very much. Can you tell us a little bit about your training? What do you do? I see you're deadlifting. I am deadlifting, yes. Um, I try to do legs uh, twice a week. At, at this point, still trying to maintain a heavy weight just to keep muscle on. I'm have a hard time putting on muscle and maintaining it. Um, do uh, usually five days a week, two days off at this point. So, what's your what kind of diet? Anything in particular? Or um, I'm on. Uh, well, I do have a, a coach who uh, dictates my diet, if you will. I'm trying to stay my carbs up high. That tends to help me out the most. Um, have dropped my fats a little bit, but keeping the carbs and the protein high, upping my water and my sodium. Wow, so you're pretty lucky you can have carbs. <laughs> I can have carbs. I need carbs. All right. Can we uh, watch you deadlift any? Sure, yeah. Awesome. I'll see what I can uh, hammer out here. Let me put my tunes on. <laughs> Best step my belt. Pretty good. It's pretty impressive. So, how much? Do, how many uh, sets and reps do you typically do with this? Um, anywhere between three and five sets. My reps will vary depending on the week and on the weight. Um, I'll do as few as three reps and as many as fifteen. So. so, do you go heavier than this, or is this pretty much your heaviest? No, I can go heavier than this, but right now, that's just, I'm gonna stick with that just so I don't injure myself. So, how long have you been training? Uh, seriously training, um, only about two years. Wow. But I've been uh, an active person most of my life. I um, was a runner for many, many years. And uh, I guess after I had kids, I felt like it was time to step it up a little bit. So I um, got involved in weight training, had someone recommend that I look into the competing side, and I was sold. So how many kids do you have? You I, don't have mind me asking. I have two, if you don't count my husband. Two plus a husband. <laughs> And yep. I know you're not supposed to ask a lady her age, but we have viewers of all ages and hopefully you will inspire people. Okay, I am 43 years young. Wow, <laughs> very encouraging. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, yeah, I, I enjoy what I do. It takes a, a lot of dedication, a lot of, uh, a lot of time and consistency, patience, um, but it's, it's worthwhile and I enjoy it. And I've seen a lot of changes um, physically and mentally, so it's been, um, it's been an interesting journey and a very a positive one. So. All right. Well, that's awesome. Well, when you come back, maybe you'll um, post something up on our Facebook. I would love Gorilla to with the calls on Facebook. When you go and compete, just share your adventure with us a little bit. That would be Absolutely. really good. Absolutely. You guys will be my first stop. All right. I'm sure our viewership would appreciate it. Thank you very All much right. for talking to us and good luck. Thank you very much. So, so what are you working on here? Uh, these are famous by Brett, from Brett Contreras, the glute guys, they call them. These are called, um, there's glute bridges or hip thrusts. Um, these work the glutes. So the trick is, I'm gonna have to use uh, extra weights to keep my 
or to get my legs at the right level. But the, the trick is to keep your, your feet in close. Um, otherwise, you'll be working in quads more. Keep your feet in close to your glutes, and it works your hamstrings and your, um, your glutes really, really well. You really want to bring your, um, push through your heels and squeeze through your glutes, and try to bring your hips up as far as you can without overextending your back, and keeping your head um, up, but not back, or in a neutral position. So, it's a great exercise. Um, I use the slingshot on top of that. Helps with uh, the abductors. And, um, and then I'll do some extra ones, as you saw me do at the very end there, just to, to kind of burn it out. Wow. Hurts really good. So how long have you incorporated this exercise into your workout? Um, I would say probably the last year. Um, I wasn't familiar with it before then, so I just started doing these in the last year. I've um, seen some changes. Ch change takes time. Um, that's one thing people don't realize. It's not going to happen overnight, but I've seen some really positive changes with this exercise. So. Wow. So when did you turn pro? How long? Uh, in July of last year. So about the same time, so you start to step your game up, is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, I tried, you, you got to. It's a whole nother level, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna go and do the best that I can and have fun. Um, I'm just honored to, to step on stage with other pros. And, um, I know I'm bringing a better physique than I had the last time, so that's really all that matters. And how many pro shows do you have so far? This will be my first. Wow, so congratulations. Thank that's going to be very exciting then, huh? And I'll have two more um, after that. I'll do one in Chicago. I'll do Tim Gardner's show, and then I'll do the Baltimore show here in July. Very cool. So we'll have to come out for the Baltimore be show great. at least. I'd love to have some fans in the audience. Yeah, yeah definitely. That would be awesome. We'll come out and support you then and, and get the inside scoop on how it's going. Great. Thank yeah, you so much. Going on.